Wide Open Outdoor Adventures with your host, Dave Valtierra. We'll make you a better sportsman. Subscribe to the Wide Open Sportsman YouTube channel today. Hello, I'm Dave Valtiero with Wide Open Outdoor Adventures. On this YouTube post, I'm here at Otia Taxidermy in San Antonio, Texas. We're going to meet Kristen. She's actually one of the Otias. She's going to show you some work she's doing for Wide Open right now on white-tailed deer, but she's also going to talk about her passion for taxidermy. Hi, my name is Kristen Otia, and this is my shop. My dad started it about 43 years ago, and now me and my husband took it over. We do deer processing and taxidermy. And I've been doing taxidermy about eight years now, and I absolutely love it. Hey, it's me again. And today I'm working on Dave from Wide Open Outdoor TV Shows Deer. He got this in West Texas, and I'm putting it together for the show. Roman nose on there since it was an older deer. <laughs> I feel like having a nice Roman nose is very important to a nice mouth. So I actually, what I do on this is the, the form doesn't really come with the type of Roman nose I like that white tail deer actually have if you look at their at their skull. So I actually like to build it up a little bit so it looks natural um, instead of just having what I call a ski slope nose which young deer have. I don't like that so I'll actually build up my own Roman nose on top of the, the mannequin. They don't come with that sometimes so I like to get creative here and make him look as good as I can. It definitely was an older deer, so everybody knows that older deer have Roman noses. So the clay I'm putting under here just gives the face a little bit more definition. I like I like having details in them. Um, I think it really makes for a nice mount when it's not just it has a boxy head that's just plain. So this right here will give it like a dimensional type bill underneath its neck, or jaw, I should say, here. And then you can always take some out too, that's why I, I put a little bit more than is probably needed, because then once I have it all tucked and put together, then I can squish it out and mold it how I want it, but my theory is, is you can always squish it out, you can't put more in once it's done, so I like to add just a little bit more than is probably necessary. A lot. All right. This is what I was talking about. Remember how like on the neck I said I was going to leave it just a little bit loose so it's not super tight so you can get that nice muscle definition. Because then if I had it like super tight, then you can't see that. Now we just stitch him up and put his face on and he'll be done and ready to dry. <laughs> so I'm working on another deer Dave shot actually out in the same place. Um, is an eight pointer and I'm working on his eyes right now. I am I'm tucking in his eyeball so he can look like he is alive again. He is alive.
Alrighty. So I'll just stick some pins in it and reshape it. That was a quick version of tucking the eye, so all I gotta do now is just tuck his mouth and his nose and put him on the wall to dry. All right, guys, I'm back at Otia. The final day is here. I've been waiting for this day. It's been a few weeks. The two whitetail bucks that I got in West Texas on the Seven Oaks Ranch are finished. Kristen's here. Let's check them out. Kristen, I think these deer came out awesome. I've been waiting to see them. You did a sweet job on oh, both of them. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm yeah. glad you like them. So tell me about what were you focused on on these two whitetail bucks? So we mainly focused on kind of what you asked for, which was the positioning, because you said you had like a certain place you wanted to hang them. So we got the positions down, and then you also said you wanted a little extra muscle tone and like the veins and stuff on the face. Um, so we really focused kind of on the extra details that you really wanted. Well, you, you hit the hit the nail, bam, right <laughs> on the head. So they look great, especially well, thank you. this this t a twelve point right here has these big cuts in his neck. And he looks, he's got that Roman nose. Yeah, and the, he turned out really good. And, and you kind of, we filmed you using the, the, mm, the clay, the clay yeah. to make the Roman nose because mm -hmm. the form didn't really have that. I think that's very important, especially on an older deer. You know, all older deer always get a Roman nose. So I think it's important to keep that on the mount as well. Well, I tell you what, Otia Taxidermy right here in San Antonio, Texas, did an awesome job on these whitetail bucks, and they can do work for you too. So thanks, I appreciate it. So when am I going to get to on a hunt and shoot one of these beauties? Ah, so you want to be on the wide open? I do. All right, well, let's let's talk. What what are you thinking? You thinking exotics? Are you thinking, uh, you know, a I mean, I'm, I'm down for anything. Whatever you can do. I got ranches, and I'm sure you got some, too. So I am down for whatever. You name it, and I will be there. Special thanks to Otia Taxidermy in San Antonio, Texas for their support of the Wide Open Outdoor Adventures television show. They can make that next hunt the trophy of a lifetime. Visit WideOpenSportsman.com every day for your daily fix of adrenaline. Just get out there. You know, it's always wide open.